watch you guys got another video here for you should microsoft relax the system requirements for windows 11 that's what we're going to be talking about today now microsoft have said that they're going to be uh, adding some minimum system requirements that you're going to need to uh, be able to install windows 11. now these minimum requirements can change before the release of windows 11 so bear that in mind but as of yet it's upset a lot of people because there is some minimum requirements that are needed, which are TPM, which is Trusted Platform Module 2.0. This has caused a major stir amongst consumers because the people that are going to be upgrading to Windows 11 need to have Trusted Platform Module uh, version 2.0 uh, enabled. And most people don't have that on their motherboard and they don't have it as part of their processor so they can't upgrade to windows 11 which means there's going to be a heap of uh you know computers that are not eligible for windows 11. the other criteria is that you need uefi and secure boot enabled so that's the other thing that you're going to need to have now microsoft have put up a list of the cpus that are capable of running windows 11 and that generation for Intel processors stop at generation 8 so anything older than generation 8 is not compatible and will not be able to run Windows 11 as of today on the 6th of the 7th 2021 there's also AMD that have got restrictions as well and these can be up to uh, Zen 2 onwards so if you've got a Zen 1 architecture then these are also not compatible for windows 11 now microsoft have said that they may lax this a little bit for zen 1 processors and also for the seventh gen processors but that still leaves a lot of processors like uh, sixth gen and fifth gen and so on the people that want to use windows 11. Now, I was checking microsoft's blog for updates on windows 11 system requirements and basically uh, these can change all the time so people need to just wait a little while because i can see them literally backtracking on the tpm 2.0 version being needed for installing windows 11. you can also see here they give you the reasons why they are implementing these requirements it reduces malware by 60 percent which is a good thing and also there's other reasons why they're implementing this as well now this is not the first time that microsoft have tried to uh, implement trusted platform module 2.0 into their operating systems you can see here when they released windows 8.1 the requirement was uh, tpm version 2.0 was a requirement but they actually removed it so remember there is always a chance that microsoft could remove this tpm 2.0 uh, minimum requirement uh, for your system so it could be removed for Windows 11. So just bear that in mind before we all start panicking and thinking that my PC is not going to be compatible with Windows 11. Now I run a poll on my YouTube community tab and it said, should Microsoft relax system requirements for Windows 11? 60% of those people said, yes, all CPU should support um, the Windows 11. Uh, yes, up to the sixth gen, and AMD Zen 1, 9% only, and no stick with uh, Intel 8th Gen and Zen 2 as the limit for TPM 2.0, 6% said that. And then you got don't care, I use Linux, only 6% as you'd expect. And again, just extend the life for Windows 10 was 19%. I think that would be a much better call from Microsoft is to extend the life a little bit longer for Windows 10 at the moment, it ends in 2025, which gives people another four years. I think if they extend that just a little bit longer, maybe uh, maybe six, seven years or something like that, and that gives people a chance to use their old systems for a little bit longer without having the need to rush out and uh, you know build a new system, especially if you've got more of a modern uh, system, like a, say a, a sixth gen uh, Intel processor. Now, don't forget, but if it ends on 2025, the Intel 6th gen uh, will be 10 years old, probably by then when it ends, if it stays as it is, which is quite a long time for a processor anyway in modern day terms. So 
Uh, yes, some people do like to use their systems uh, until they completely fall apart, and that's just the way that some people are. Me, myself, I keep my systems upgrading because I need something a bit powerful for the type of work that I put it through. But you can see here Ross Warren saying that he runs a 14-year-old Core 2 Duo. I don't know what that would feel like in 2021, let alone 2025. Maybe it's okay for what he's doing, but for the majority of people, that would not be nowhere near enough sort of processing power for what they need to do in 2021, let alone 2025. So I do think that Microsoft are going to have to make some tough decisions when it comes to their final uh, release and system requirements, because if they do implement that TPM 2.0 and make that uh, a requirement, then a lot of old computers are going to be completely obsolete within four years because once 2025 is over, Windows 10 will end its life. And of course, that means those PCs are going to be obsolete unless they put Linux on it or something like that. Now, the biggest problems I see with Windows 11 is if they don't implement TPM uh, 2.0 now for Windows 11, then it's going to be very difficult for them to implement it a little bit later down the line because people then will get upset that uh, their system all of a sudden doesn't meet requirements. So they either do it now or they don't do it at all. And the problem is if they don't do it now, that means we're going to have a very long period with Windows 11 uh, with uh, no trusted security platform uh, in place. And that can be really bad for the operating system later down the line with malware issues growing at the rate they're growing and this would make windows 11 very vulnerable to malware attacks even more so without that implemented on the system at the very beginning you've got to remember the life cycle of windows 11 is going to be say a minimum of 10 years as far as we know it so that's a long time and with the advancements in malware it would be really bad for Windows 11 and it could end up really easily to infect uh, it without those uh, security features implemented right at the very beginning. Now, Windows 7 was so easy to get infected on and I think that's what they're probably going to try to avoid by implementing TPM 2.0. That will stop a lot of that from happening because we already know that Windows 10 is pretty secure and pretty good at blocking malware but this is just gonna uh, make it even more difficult for malware to infect uh, you know Windows 11 and I think it's just more advancements for the future for Microsoft and their operating systems so I think it, I can see where they're going with it unfortunately there's going to be a lot of upset people in the process with older systems that want to continue to use operating systems like Windows 10 on their system, but they will have at least another four years up until that point. So by then, if you've got a 10-year-old system, that's going to be 14 years old. Or if you've got a 14-year-old system, you know, that's going to be 18 years old. That's a long time for a computer to be still in action. But that's just my opinion. Again, if Microsoft uh, expand their CPU acceptance, i.e. for 6th gen and also for seventh gen processors again those processors will be you know by the time 2025 comes the sixth gen will be uh, you know 10 years old which is quite a long time to have a cpu in 2025 and that's why i think the best solution would be to extend the windows 10 for just a little bit longer which would then make those sixth gen uh, intel processors uh, have a lifespan say of 12 years which would be acceptable i think um, you know, but some people are still going to disagree on that and they're going to want a 15 year old processor to last, you know, 20 years or whatever it is, you know, but that's only a very small portion of people that really want to use their computer for 20 years. You know, there's going to be a majority of people that renew their PCs every five to six years or maybe eight years. So you can see the difficult uh, decisions Microsoft have to make when it comes to system requirements. You know, do you uh, just ignore everyone's uh, moaning and groaning about the, the list of CPUs that are acceptable and go with a more secure operating system when it's released? Or do you cave into them and take away TPM 2.0 and have problems maybe in the future with malware and other issues because you didn't implement uh, TPM 2.0 on the release of Windows 11 right at the very beginning? 
So you can see it's not an easy thing to do for Microsoft. I think it's going to be a tough call for them. They're going to have to decide whether they're going to upset a lot of people uh, when it comes to uh, making Windows 11 a strict system requirement for TPM 2.0 and also Secure Boot and UEFI, or they just lax those rules and just allow people to install it and upgrade uh, no matter what CPU you got. I'm not sure they will do that this time around. They did uh, remove it on Windows 8.1, but I do think they do want to push forward with that TPM 2.0 this time. Uh, they may put a few other CPU uh, generations acceptance in their list. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's Microsoft's call. They're going to make it whether we like it or not. And uh, whenever they listen to the users, I mean, they never really have. So, so just remember, guys, before you leave a comment, uh, these are just opinions. I see both sides of the coin. And basically, I see good and bad points on both sides. And it's very, very difficult to see uh, just one side because obviously we have to look for advancements in the next operating system, which is going to be Windows 11. And we have to obviously have much more better uh, security in the future. And that's the way we evolve. And that's just the way the operating system evolves. If we just give in and cave in to every single person every time they spit their dummy out because their 20 year old PC doesn't accept Windows 11, then where will we be in 10 years time when Windows 11 is 10 years old? You know, we could end up with a complete disaster. So we have to have some sort of measures in place, I think, for the future or operating systems. But that's just my opinion anyway. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brotechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely day and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now.